Has anybody seen a freight train? They're very long and they have different cars. So we're gonna learn a little bit about those. So the big freight train. A train goes by my house each day. A great big freight train, by the way. The big locomotive pulls it along. Its wheels on the rails plays a humming song. And it is a big train, so we're gonna curve it just a little bit. Behind it is the tender with water and coal to keep the train moving straight towards its goal. Next comes the box cars with all sorts of things, like ovens and bed and backyard swings. It's got furniture and clothing and even a sty for a pig. The refrigerator cars are very cold. <laughs> this is where they keep the ice cream and lettuce and milk by the gallon. The zoo car, oh, look at all those animals in there. That carries all the animals by. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! Yep. Start curving it down here. It's a big train. Next we have the tank car. The tank cars hold liquids of all kinds. You've got chemicals and oil and even milk. <laughs> we might run out of room. <laughs> the cattle cars cross in the whole countryside and these carry cows and pigs and chickens along for the ride. <laughs> Next we have the flat car. The flat car is what's gonna hold the lumber and logs all in a pile and it's, <clears throat> and truck drivers carry it piggyback style. Just gonna put this right there for you. And last but not least, we have the little caboose. It's the car in the back. It's also the place where the breakers can be found. So the next time that you see a train, open those eyes and see which ones that you can find. So here we go, let's see if we can remember everything. So we've got the caboose, the flat car. Do you remember this one? This one is the cattle car. We have the tank car, the zoo car, holding all those fun animals. We have the refrigerator car, Brrr. the box car, the tinder, and right up front is the locomotive. Good job, everybody.